Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the audiologist here at Audiology Associates. We upload new earwax removal videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9 p.m. UK time, so please consider subscribing. Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our earwax compilation video today. Um, so we've got two patients in this compilation, both with very different kinds of earwax. So this first patient's come through, uh, feeling very blocked up on both sides. Looking at the wax, it's very, very dry and uh, certainly looks as if it's blocking the outer part of the ear canal. So what I've done first of all is spray a little bit of olive oil in there. Um, it's going to help me to get a better grip with the suction because you can see it's quite a polished surface in here and it also helps to get the oil underneath just to just to lubricate the canal so when we do have a large piece of wax like this it's very dried out it helps to kind of slide it across the skin so try the uh, standard size on the tube first of all try a little bit of micro suction but it couldn't quite get a strong enough grip to break it out so we're just using the uh, jobson horn now just to try and get behind it what I could see when I first looked in with the Jobson horn was a, a leading edge. So we thought we could get behind it then and bring this forwards, which is what you can see us doing here. But I can see that this is a really long piece of wax. I can see it disappearing down into the canal. So what I need to do first of all is maneuver it so that the front end is facing towards the outer part of the ear canal, which we've done. Now it can be quite uncomfortable to push down onto this really hard type of wax. So I'm using the crocodile forceps to see if I could get a grip on the outside. Uh, but unfortunately I couldn't get a good enough grip. So we're going to have to go back in there with the Jobson horn. I just gently try and manoeuvre uh, this wax to the outer part of the canal again. See if we can get a better grip with the forceps. I'm trying to get above, uh, from above, I'm trying to get to either side of this big block of wax. Because it is a fair old size. You can't see that at the moment but when you kind of look a bit further in the canal you can see that it goes down quite a way a little bit of dry skin there at the entrance and again so we'll just get rid of those pieces first just helps with my view a little bit you can see I'm really struggling to try and get above this wax it's so big that it's really blocking up this canal very well and really dry and hardened up so I'm just breaking the edges off and then slowly there you go working this around the corner and outwards so you can see just how much force you've got to put on top of this to, to try and budget it's that long that it's pretty much gone um, I'd say the majority of the way down the ear canal there you go starting to move there we are now it's on its way you can you can appreciate now just how long this piece is and why we couldn't get behind it with a Jobson horn. Just pick that up to show you. There we are. Gives you some appreciation of how long this was. Lots of dry skin underneath. You can see now why you shouldn't really go blindly in with a Jobson horn. You know, somebody could have pushed quite far in to do that and you wouldn't got to the end. Um, what you can see here, that this looks at first glance to be a much softer wax on this side. So same patient but the other ear. Um, but what we've got is just uh, it's just a lighter coloured wax basically, but still hard as a pebble. You can see when you're passing the uh, suction tube over that. Even with the, the olive oil we've sprayed in there, we can't get a good enough grip on this. So I'm going to go back to the Jobson horn for this side as well. There you go, just getting a grip on the outside edge, not going in too deep. Just trying to get a little bit of leverage, a little bit of purchase on this uh, this wax. But you can see it's just broken away the front section there. Trying to get, I can't get above it uh, because it's perfectly formed to the shape of the canal. So I'm trying to get a little, create almost a ledge in the wax to use as a lever to bring this out where you can see that uh, we've just broken another piece off the front end there so what we've got now is a large dry plug that we can just start to bend and move a little bit just to try and encourage it out of the canal so we have another dry piece there okay now what I'm looking to try and do here I can't get above it as much as I try, I can't get a ledge on it because there's it's it's kind of in too deep and it's too flexy. 
So I'm just going to tidy up some of the bits first with the micro suction. And then what I want to try and do is take this off the canal wall because I know the outer section is really tough. So I'm hoping I can use the outer section to hold, get a grip on it and hold everything together with that and then pull it out in one piece if we can. So to make that a little bit easier, I'm just going to bend some of the outer sections into the center first. And I'm going to work on this right side because that's the more prominent side. So I'm going to work on the right side, flexing that there you go. You can see just how tough this is. So it's really um, bound together, held together really firmly. So I'm just using the right side there, bending it in, detaching it from the canal wall, just to give me enough space so I can get crocodile forceps in here. There you go, just lifting with the bottom edge there, moving. There we are, we managed to hold it all together and take it out in one piece. Much easier to do that than to try and dig around it uh, with the with the Jobson horn. Little tiny bit there, dry uh, wax to the left hand side. So I'll just take that away with the suction. There we go. You can see the redness and irritation around the outside of the ear canal there where that dry piece has come away. Um, so this is what we removed. So the section there between three and a half and five centimeters, that was what came out the first ear. The rest came out the second ear there. So some nice big uh, big meaty bits of, uh, of wax in there. Now, very different patient came through on the same day. It just goes to show you just never know what's gonna walk through the door because you get one patient with like extremely dry, hardened up ear wax. And you know, next patient that comes to the door we have is very, very soft, very, very soft wax and sticky wax here. So very different removals. You can see that we have to approach things a very different way. So for this person, there's no point in going in here with a Jobson horn um, at the moment. It's just gonna make a big mess in this ear canal. The wax is gonna end up everywhere it shouldn't be. Uh, it's gonna be stuck all over the canal walls, which is gonna be really uncomfortable to remove for the patient. So. We're going to go straight in with the standard size Zollner tube uh, for suction. Just working our way into the canal, um, sucking in lots of these little bits and much softer bits of wax up. There is more than likely in the middle of this a much harder piece or a drier piece that we're going to come across, but at the moment it's just a case of um, hoovering up, if you like, all the softer debris bits first of all. just see it just trying to hold it's starting to hold together a little bit more solidly so we get into the slightly older a little bit more dried up wax you can normally tell when it gets to this really sticky dried up wax it gets much darker in color much uh, quite quickly so we go from that lighter lighter brown color here and then you can see the softer lighter brown stuff at the bottom and then you'll start to see a much darker color come through there just to the right side there can you see it coming away that's when you know you've hit this kind of much more sticky it goes a uh, very dark brown almost black in color um, much more sticky solid wax then there anyway, you can see it there see the color difference between the left hand side of the wax and the right side the lighter color to darker color there you see it becomes more brittle uh, it's dried out just that oxidized just a little bit more dried out that a little bit more so we've ended up with this much uh, much more sticky, there you go, sticky wax which is bound together. So there we go, there's a, a, a nice big piece of it there. You can see that much darker, harder colour there further in. So kind of you, you kind of assess the wax. When you first look in somebody's ear, obviously you only see the outer section of wax, but you, you can get a good, usually a good mm. indication to whether you're dealing with soft, hard, sticky wax. At the first, uh, the first bit of a toss will be the first look in the ear. You do sometimes get patients to throw you a bit of a curveball. You look in and you think, oh yeah, that's one particular type of wax. It might look quite soft and it is solid as a rock. Um, but most of the time you can usually get a good judge of what the wax is going to be like. So we can see here, because the wax has got that slightly stickier nature to it, and because the entrance to the canal is uh, quite narrow, what's happening here is the wax is stuck in the entrance to the canal, so stuck to both canal walls. So I'm just trying to maneuver this out 
if it doesn't look like it's going to budge with suction what we would normally do then is go in with the jobson horn just to get behind it and, and flick it out um, but it's managing to break itself down rather than uh, switch tools now i think we're just going to carry on with the suction on this side there you go so we've got it out rather than sort of put that down and get another one up so you can see the eardrum there a little bit of wax to the right side here so we're just going to hoover the top end of that off just to get rid of it there we go and there's the eardrum so this is the same patient now but the second ear um now this ear canal the entrance to this ear canal is kind of collapsed a little bit the cartilage is almost overlapping uh the entrance to the canal which can be a little bit difficult when you're trying to suction because when you introduce the suction tube uh, you can see here it won't quite fit in so uh, the suction obviously is pulling the air in so it can close the canal wall down or cause a vacuum in there which is not what we want to do so what we have to do sometimes is, as i've done here is hold the entrance to the canal open with the endoscope um, and then pass the suction tube over the top so we can get in that little bit deeper the only difficulty that is it's great if the wax is much further in as it is here uh, but if you've got wax that is right coming right towards the entrance of the canal sometimes it can be difficult because you're trying to hold uh, you can see I want to pull the canal wall then push the endoscope in to hold it open and then go over the top again with the suction Sometimes if the wax is very close to the outside part of the ear canal as you try and hold it open with the endoscope You can actually push the lens of the endoscope into the wax um, So you're almost right on top of it then straight away So we've cleared the softer uh, softer parts of the wax away now We should start to see a bit of a color change in a little bit you can just see it starting to get that more kind of polished uh, smoother edge then you start to see the darker colors coming in again can you see that the color difference there it's much darker there now so now we know we've hit that stickier wax there's going to be a little bit more body to it so it means that we can maybe get a grip and maneuver so i'm trying to unstick it from the base of the canal wall at the moment you can see the whole thing now starting to starting to flex starting to move back and forth trying to get a grip detach it from that base of the canal wall you can see now it's really starting to wedge we're gonna have difficulty getting this out of the canal just because it's going to be so um, stuck to the canal walls it's, it's going to be difficult to, to get this out I'm just trying to roll it I'm trying to hold on to the back because that's more likely to be harder uh, more solid wax so sometimes you can roll that forwards then down the canal but unfortunately it's quite uh, soft and sticky all the way down there we are just got a grip on some of the base trying to lift it up detach it move it forwards and there it's wedged so we're going to go in with the jobson horn now it's going to go over the top there we are pushing down into the wax bringing this forwards can see it's got that slightly stickier outside edge and then the much softer center section so we're going to try and push the jobs on down enough to catch that bottom edge there we are now that came you can see a little gap there you can see around because this is on the outside as i said earlier we have to hold hold that open with the endoscope there's the drier section coming away and there we are there's the eardrum so this is what we removed you can see uh this is the much darker harder chunks the smallest bits got sucked into the machine and there we go thank you very much for watching our video today if you did enjoy the video then please like if you're not subscribed already and you'd like to do so you can click the subscribe button here if you'd like to check out some more of our videos they're also up there now if you want to follow us you can do on facebook twitter instagram and also check our website if you want to know a little bit more about us as always, guys, until the next time, take care.